Wanda Laughlin with the University of Florida, North Florida Research and Education Center in the Suwannee Valley. And I'm here standing in one of our greenhouses today. And this is, we want to introduce you to a hydroponic system called an NFT system. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Technique. And this is a very popular system with commercial growers. And now we're moving into homeowners actually starting some of these hobby systems. An NFT system is a recirculating type system. It's also known as a closed loop system. So this system runs off of a reservoir full of nutrient solution, and it is irrigated through small emitters at the back of each one of these gutters. And it flows through in a film, a thin film down each gutter. So a lot of systems are made with PVC. This one is a commercial system that's made with this four inch gutter. And it drains back into the reservoir where it recirculates and then runs back through the system. So each one of these gutters has a very small groove on the bottom of it that encourages the solution to run past the root zone. So there's, there's no media in this system other than the cube that we use to root our seed in. So this is a very water efficient system. So if I lift one of these caps off of this channel, we can see that the roots on the bottom side of the channel, it's just, it's a, it's a shallow channel with just barely a thin film of nutrient solution. And you can see that the roots just lay flat on the bottom of this system. So it's a very clean system. Um, it's important to keep sunlight, exclude sunlight from the system so we don't develop algae. Um, because if a pathogen gets into this system, you run the risk in a closed loop system of exposing all of the plants to that pathogen. The seeds that I'm sowing today into my Rockwell cubes is lettuce. That's the, the crop that we have growing in our system now. So what I have in front of me is a pelleted lettuce seed. It has a clay coating on the outside of the seed. Lettuce seed is a, a irregular shape that tends to get hung up in seeding machines. So that's the reason that they pelleted the seed so it has a uniform surface area on all the seeds. So it makes it easy for commercial growers to sow. For me, it's just easier to handle. So I would take one of these pelleted seed and I would simply drop it into the pre-drilled hole in my rock wool. And as I go along, this is a fairly easy, this is more of a low cost way to do it without seeding equipment. But the pellet makes it very easy to handle these seeds. And it makes it very quick to sow the seeds into the system. Once my seeds are sown into my rock wool cubes, I will come through with a fine mister and I can overhead mist the seeds into the rock wool and it settles them down to make sure that they have good contact with my substrate or I can bottom water them and have them soak up my water from the bottom to the top if I don't want to move seeds around. Initially after I sow my seeds into my rock wool cubes, I just use fresh water to, to settle them into the cube. I don't start with nutrient solution because that seed contains the, new, the energy that that seed needs to germinate initially in that seed coat. Once I'm past my cotyledon stage, which is my first two leaves, then I'll introduce nutrient solution to my seedlings so they don't stall before they develop their first true leaf. It takes about roughly, depending on the seed, three weeks, 21, 14 to 21 days before they have enough root on them to move them into my NFT system.